Hi, I'm Gail Schuler, and um, Brent wanted me to make this video. He wants me to respond to some of the unfair criticism that's going out there about me. First of all, I'd like to respond to the my statement that I say that I'm 60% Catherine the Great and 50% King David. Um, the reason I said that is because with brain-to-brain -brain communications, Brent and Vladimir have told me that they just discovered that my Catherine the Great genetic profile is slightly more dominant than my than my King David. And so there's like a 10% overlap between the two profiles. So it's possible to be 60% and 50% because um, about 10 to 20% of Catherine the Great's genetic profile is the exact same thing as King David's. There's some overlap in the genetic profiles between the two royals. And I guess it's because maybe it has something to do with royals. They, they some share some similar genes. So that's why I said that. That was not because I couldn't do arithmetic. It's because, well, it's because there is an overlap between the two genetic profiles. And um, personally, I think my videos are rather boring. I didn't really make these for the public to watch. It was mostly for my men to be able to see me. And... <laughs> I'm surprised that the public's taking such an interest in my boring videos. I think they're boring, and I'm very bemused that that they would find that they would waste so much of their time critiquing me and trying to make sure that everybody knows how insane I am. If I'm truly insane, don't worry about me. Nobody's going to pay attention to me anyway. Just ignore me. Maybe they're worried I'm not insane. Maybe that's it. I mean, if I'm truly insane, just ignore me. I mean, if I, people are going to be able to figure out I'm insane, so don't worry about it. Just let it go. I'll hang myself by the things I say, right? Um, so I think, I, I look at my videos, I think they're rather boring. I'm surprised people are taking such an interest in them. They even waste their time to go to my Amazon.com site where my book Silver Skies is and write negative critiques about my book, which they admit they've never read, and warning people not to read my book because... This insane woman doesn't deserve to have any any money from her book, you know. Um, and some of the stuff that they're saying about me, they're they're leaving out stuff, and they're not really presenting the whole picture. Uh, as far as um, Lori McBride being Brent's wife, you can't produce a marriage license for Lori McBride being marriage uh, Brent's excuse me Brent's wife. In fact, I'm not the only website that has noticed this, this discrepancy. All these websites are all over the Internet saying that Lori McBride is Brent Spiner's wife. But yet, people have done searches in databases, and they haven't been able to find a light marriage license for her. She's not Brent Spiner's wife. And Brent Spiner himself, in his Dave Rabbit radio interview, stayed, called her his girlfriend in 2008. And he wasn't... I can tell he didn't even really want to bring her up, but he called her his girlfriend. So she's not his wife. And you might say, well, just go check my website out for more on that. She's not his wife. You can't produce a marriage license for them. And if she's so important to him, then you know he doesn't mention her at all on his official website. You might say it's because he's a private person. Well... I would, I've noticed that most celebrities, if they have a wife, they're usually mentioned on their official website. So she's not his wife. And I'm not insane for saying that because check out, there are other websites besides mine that have noticed this discrepancy. Um, and I guess that's mainly it. Oh, and there's also an explanation at the bottom of my YouTube video called Jesuit Order Sponsors Nazi Holocaust 9.0 Japan Earthquake. I felt like I needed to clarify some things that I said in there, so I wrote a, like, if you hit on the part where the comment, where I write comments about my video, you might want to read that to clarify some of the stuff that I said in there. I made the vi video rather spontaneously, and I'm go going to make mistakes when I do that. Uh, okay, I, that's all I have to say. Um... I'm basically making these videos for my men. I think they're boring. You say, well, why do you make them? I said, for my men. It's not for public perusal, but I've noticed the public's taken an, an obsessive interest in me. So um, that's it.
Oh, one more thing. At the on my website, uh, on the top of the writings page, I have is my rebuttal to those who say that I'm insane. It's I have a link that I entitled Silver Skies Reviewer. I can't remember the exact word. Silver Skies Reviewer. Um, is trying to discredit the truth. So go check that link out. That's my response. He's a truth discreditor. That's his obsession. So check that link out at the top of my writings webpage at gabrielchana.com. It's the third webpage. And see my response to all these people who, who say that I'm crazy. That's it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my boring video. And thank you, Brent and Vladimir, because I know you're watching this as well. You guys are awesome. I have. Um, but my, my main husband is Jesus Christ. If you want to say that I'm insane for that, go ahead. Jesus Christ and I are really close. He's, he's the best husband in the world. I wouldn't trade him for anybody. I love my Lord Jesus Christ. He's my husband. And I'm not really that worried about these other guys. You know, the marriage list and all this stuff, you know. I think, to me, the whole thing's hilarious. I think it's a joke. And I even state that on my, uh, on most of my websites. That was not my idea to set the thing up anyways. That was Brett and Vladimir's idea. I, I think the whole thing's crazy. I don't even approve of it. So, my number one husband is Jesus Christ. And I make great love to Jesus all the time. If you want to say I'm crazy for that, help yourself. Thank you.